Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVP Nuts video series on C++ and today's topic is type of thread creation in C++ 11. So this video is going to be a very basic video. There we'll be talking about only how many ways are there you can create threads in C++, okay, using callable objects. So I hope you have watched my previous video which is about introduction to the threading. There I have discussed few basic points and the reason why we should use thread if we can and there I used a function pointer okay so if you're coming from that video you must be knowing what is function pointer I mean how to call thread this is T and it's an object of thread type you are calling this function as a thread passing 10 as an argument okay so you might be knowing this very well but there are five different types you can create threads in C++11 including this function pointer so we are going to discuss all those things here now there is a note here if we create multiple threads at the same time it doesn't guarantee which one will start first okay let's read this again if we create multiple threads at the same time it doesn't guarantee which one will start first what I mean to say is let's suppose you are having this stt thread t one and you're calling suppose some function with 11 okay and this is going to be your thread 2 and you have this thread 1 copy paste thread 2 okay this is perfect code right so you are creating t1 t2 function and function so there are two threads creation here now what i mean to say is it is not guaranteed that t1 will create i mean it will be created first and then t2 no sometime it may happen that t2 is created first then t2 sorry t1 okay so as this is your first type of thread creation which is function pointer you know very well like how it will work you will create a thread let me just remove this t2 part here because we don't need this anymore okay so t1 will be created function name is used as function pointer because if you will write only your function name there is a function pointer and this thread will be created so it will print some 11 to 0 or 10 to 0 okay so this was the first type let's move to the second type let me just comment this so second type is your lambda expression okay you might have seen this already so this is your main function you have this lambda function and yeah actually you can initialize your lambda into some variable and you can give that variable here and this is actually similar to what we were doing here okay so instead of using function pointer we are using lambda function and the comment says we can directly inject lambda at thread creation time so when we are creating thread we can directly inject this part here itself so let's first compile this so this is the command compile it it compiled successfully now if you will run this let's see how it is working okay from 9 to 0 why because we are giving here 10 okay so this is exactly similar code to the previous one but here we are using lambda function so as i said we can directly inject this part from here to here okay just comment out this one so instead of function pointer you have written lambda itself inside thread creation time okay so let's compile this again voila it compiled execute same output okay so using lambda function you can achieve the same thing okay so this was the second point let's go to the third point third point is using functor i don't know you have heard about this or not but this is functor which is also called function object and this is how it is written so if you have class and you are overloading this operator then it is nothing but a functor and if you want to know about functors there is a video of mine you can search it you'll get it so as you can see that you have the similar code and this time your this particular function will be treated as callable object okay and this is how we call it and let me just save this and compile this again okay no problem compiling the same output 
okay so this is also giving you the same output so this was the third way of creating thread okay you're not passing function pointer you're not passing lambda function you are passing the functor here okay okay so let's move to the fourth one okay before that let's comment this this fourth one is a non-static data member sorry member function so this is how it would look like and yeah here comes the difference you have this base class and you want to call this function as your thread then you have to call it like this first you have to give the address of that function and then you have to write like base colon colon run because this run is inside your base class okay so you have to give this syntax and then address of that function okay and then you have to give the address of the object you want to call this function okay because this is non-static data member sorry member function so you need object to call this function so you are giving this object and then rest is the parameter part so if this run is expecting some parameter you pass it here so let's compile this save this and compile this okay no problem same output okay 9 to 0 so this is the syntax for non-static member functions let's move to the static one and complete this video static one would look like this okay you will do the similar job instead of passing object you will directly pass the argument because as this is a static member function you didn't need any object but in previous case as this was non-static member function so in order to call non-static member function you need object so that's why you was giving the address of the object but in case of static member function you don't need any object to call this function right you directly call this function with this syntax so only function address is required so that's it i think we are done here next video is about join and detach because that is not simple thing okay because you've been seeing this join since long time but you might not be knowing so many things about it so i will give this video maybe tomorrow okay till then bye bye take care and if i miss something let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button guys bye bye